Hello and welcome to another episode of Elastic Planet 21. I am your host C. I have my wonderful co-host G here with me as well. And this is kind of a part two to the video that I uploaded previously of the Diva Lucy doll, um, which is this doll here in the orange to the far right. I rebodied this doll. As you can see, she's on a poseable body. And I also changed the hair. Um, you remember, um, I'll insert clips of her original hairstyle, which was like that curly afro, but yeah. So anyway, she's going with her 60s, little 70s vibe right now. I just paired her with the puffy coat and the shoes and pretty much everything else is, oh, and minus the earrings, but everything else is kind of the same. Um, I did want to unbox these two new dolls that I got today. Um, both of these are also Diva Lucy dolls, but they're not the, um, they're not the same. They all, I'm going to read exactly what this one says. Um, it just has like Diva Lucy there with the little cover art. As you can see, um, it has beauty here in blue on the corner, right here in the upper left corner right there. Also has another picture. It's also the other picture of the concept art of the doll. And then on the back here is the two other dolls that come with this wave. Cause you know, they're in series. So this particular series had these three dolls and these three looks. I'm gonna kind of zoom in and show you those pictures. And I just think out of the three, I think I got the best one or the one that I think stuck out to me the most, which was this one. Um, it also has on the back that, you know, this was made in China. Um, has like the little warning labels there. Also, um, just kind of the, the specifications of the doll itself. This one is doll number two. Uh, these two, I want to tell you why I specifically got these two dolls. Um, they came with uh, quite a few looks, these dolls did. Um, they had like colorful ones with more like rainbow hair and all type of stuff like that. But I went for the more natural tone hair um, girls. This one, instead of it having just beauty in the corner, this one has fashion beauty. I just don't know if you see that stamped, like right here in the front, with this logo here, and it's also stamped all in the background. So that's her concept art. She looks very much like Barbie though. This kind of very similar to how Barbie's extras concept art looks. Um, and this is a back shot of all the other girls that come in the line as well. So you got this pink one here on the upper left. The one in the middle is the one I got. Then they also got this one with the blue hair. I thought she was pretty cool, but I told you I was going for more natural hair tones. So I did, I kind of passed on the rest of these. But um, because of their affordable price, I, um, if you were a person who liked to collect each doll in a line, I would strongly suggest you do so because these are pretty cool for their price point. And even though they're kind of like a Barbie kind of knockoff brand, um, I think that for what you pay and all that they come with, it's definitely worth adding to your collection. Hey guys, um, I don't have much to add really to what the whole C said. However, I did see, uh, when he found them, he did show me a couple of images of them. And based on the pictures that I saw, they, I, I had a feeling like their head looked softer or like, you know, it was not good quality. That's what, that's the feeling I had looking at the pictures and stuff. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking at them in person. Um, they're not out, well, uh, the doll in orange is out of the box, uh, but the other two are not out, but I can already tell that it's good quality. Uh, it's the only thing I can critique so far would probably be the eyes uh, to me <laughs> they look very similar to barbie uh like the host he said this is my first time seeing this uh line of doll or this um company uh but i think the big difference i can see not a big difference but the small difference i can see between them and barbie will probably be the eyes but um, they have a lot of other lines so this is probably mm -hmm. just one small difference that's the only difference i can see uh, after but other than that they are they look really well done and I, I saw the prices and I 
this is great and their outfits look really beautiful i like the concept of giving them uh I like, you know i'm see they going based on the theme as well like the fashion beauty uh i can see why <laughs> so yeah excited to unbox them and look at them closer first up i think that we're going to open is this one here i did come prepared this time with some scissors which makes this process a little quicker so we're going to do that really quick we're going to unbox They strapped her down like they do all these dolls. I'll give them that. Just like they do like Barbie and pretty much every doll. They do this extra tabs thing. And out of the box, this is what the general doll looks like here. She kind of has these. Now notice she has articulation at the knee, she has a bend there, she has articulation at the hip, she has articulation at the wrist, of course, elbow, and upper shoulder. But I do notice because I guess the way she was tied down into the packaging, she does kind of have a little bit of a bow leggedness going on here with the ankle. I probably can just bend that back and get it to go back to its original shape or whatever. Um, this is the, you know, she has the, of course, the box hair. This hair, it's, eh, if I have to describe the way the hair feels, it's not like um, super silky or anything like that. Um, it actually does kind of feel a little dry but I'm assuming that could be because of maybe some product they put in it or something like that so I'll have to wash it and kind of update you later and tell you but as of right now the quality doesn't feel that great not as great as like high quality nylon hair or even saran hair um, I don't know what which type this is so a little pink earring she has this little shirt here got this little mesh on the end i did like these pants i think these pants really kind of stuck out i wouldn't pair i wouldn't have paired these pants with this shirt but i do like the athletic look of them and the finished details the little iron on details that they put on here uh printed details uh, that they got and she comes with just some plain white sneakers there plain white tennis shoes so um just off the top like i said these dolls they got the look mm -hmm. the look i'm gonna give it to them they the look when you see the doll you like it the look but the same thing i agree with you what you said about not pairing her, her top and her pants like that outfit together and i know it's a mother of choice uh somebody will but I, yeah, I agree with you. I wouldn't pair it. I just, when I first saw it, that's the first thing that was going in my mind. I wouldn't pair those pants with those that top. But that's a small detail. We can always change those outfits. Um, uh, so True. first, like I said, first three things that stuck out to me was um, the look, overall look, beautiful doll. She fit her theme of beauty. Um, that got the look really well. Um, the outfit. All separately great outfit together not not for me I don't know <laughs> uh, it's giving more of like a Barbie extra where I feel like Barbie extra they come with so many things that don't have to come together in my opinion like in Barbie but I think the idea is to give you a lot mm -hmm. Hence the name Bobby Extra, but I think that's what they're trying to do with this one. Come with more things than we really need. You can move it around if you don't like. I like that. But uh, yeah, with you as well, the hair looks, I didn't touch the hair. I want you to touch the hair just so you can tell them. You know what, it, it has hope. I think it's because it was in the box. Mm -hmm. it, like you said, it's not the softest, silkiest one, but it has hope. I do want to point out that I like the colors they chose. The brown and the blonde looks really good together. Um, 
And I do like the fact that, like I said, she has like this kind of fresh face without, you know, I like the I like dogs that don't show teeth when they uh, have expression, just regular expressions like this. Um, the hair is definitely going to need to be restyled because these bangs don't quite lay flat. So I'm gonna have to do something about that to make those lay flat. She also comes with these black shades here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. And um, yeah, so this is her. Now, of course, these dolls don't come with stands, which is also a bummer, but I look at it like this. I mean, Barbie doesn't come with stands for these type of dolls either, even the Barbie Extra dolls, which usually their price point is between 25 and 30 bucks, and they don't come with doll stands either. So I'm not gonna be, you know, um, I'm not gonna be so upset with this doll line for not having doll stands when, I mean, Barbie doesn't either. So now we have this last one here that we'll be also opening on camera. And remember, this is the Fashion Beauty one. The other one was just named Beauty. Let me double check that. Yeah, see, the other one just says Beauty Diva Lucy. And this one says Fashion Beauty. So I'm assuming this is like the next wave after that one that we just unboxed um, drop down in the comments if you have more info on that origin of that and that whole backstory because i'm not exactly sure which line came first but i just i chose them based on their looks um based on like i said these two have the most natural look of some of the other girls and not such wild colors and kind of natural hair colors yeah. The one that I did end up restyling, as much as I love this one, I am going to do a reroute on this doll just because even though the hair, I was able to transform the hair, it's it's not the hair, it's the hair was able to be um, restyled and moldable like, um, like I would have liked. It just wasn't long enough. Still, it ain't long enough. Like, it still isn't long enough. And, um... Even when I straightened it out, like I'll insert, I might have some pictures of it straightened out. Even when I straightened it out, it was maybe like waist length, but it didn't look like it. It still wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. So I'm gonna just give her a reroute. She still may have the kind of textured hair that you see, but it'll just be much longer. And I'm also gonna give her highlights like the rest of the girls got, because now she kind of has to, I want them all to kind of be on theme. You know, they're gonna be like these, they're the, they're the only three I have from this line, so yeah. Now, anyway, back to this one. So, uh, I'm gonna be opening this one. So I'll be right back once I get her out of the box here. I have the, finally got this one. Now I noticed that she comes with quite a few things, which I think is pretty cool. She comes with these long stockings here, these kind of sneaker platform shoes that are like pink. She also comes with a bunny rabbit. So that's pretty cool. She comes with some bunny ears headband there. All right, and out of the box, she has her little cool little heart purse, I mean, little flower purse. It's like a translucent kind of Plastic here. It's kind of like a hot pink color. Pretty cool. She comes with this jacket here, this gold jacket. Now I like this jacket. I think they did a really good job on this jacket. It has a it's lined pretty well, as you can see. And I think this zipper works. It looks like it has an active zipper. I'm gonna we'll zip it all the way up right now. But you get the concept. She comes with this floral kind of skirt, like this um, multicolored tie-dye kind of skirt is what I meant to say. Um, and she also comes with these stockings as well. They're like yellow with blue stars. And she also comes with these pink, as you can see, these pink platform shoes there. She comes with this bracelet, which is pretty cool. And she also comes with these flower shades. I love the little up knot, the little center knot she got on the top of her head there. I think that's pretty cute. Um, 
so yeah and she also has this pretty red kind of strawberry blonde i'll say hair with blonde highlights and um she also comes with these really large pink oh they're flowers how nice they're flowers with these big flower earrings now of course this doll did not come with a stand either because they they just don't that's fine i guess and also too just trying to balance them on these stands has been troubling i think it's because of the stockings and stuff that they got on they a little busy and i'm gonna let you also feel her hair as well because it does feel different i think from the other one mm -hmm. she feels a lot better mm -hmm. i don't know if they just made it or they transported it better <laughs> but yeah this feels a lot more so, better softer i love the feel of it and i love i don't know why but i love the hair color mm -hmm, i too. really love the hair color and i never thought of it but i like the blonde i like as well you can barely see it yeah but i think after restyling you see it better but it's i love it i wish it was more in the front though right like i know it's on the side but i yeah but it looks it goes well beautifully together honestly there's not much to say i love everything she comes with i would not have put her in all these things because she dressed like all these outfits like i said separately together separately beautiful uh and i love the fact that the jacket works the zipper mm -hmm. works uh, but she, she she reminds me because there's this say like even when you're traveling at the airport and they tell you that your luggage is too heavy <laughs> like you take some things off she dressed like that like she was like i'm gonna wear this on i'm gonna add this on i'm gonna like this on i feel like she's dressed <laughs> off the only thing i would have kept would have probably been the jacket and if she's wearing that jacket i would take the skirt if she want to keep the jacket i'll take the skirt off and instead of the stockings maybe make it a tight paint of that pattern all the way up a tent but i don't know just all this together looks very busy to me but i understand <laughs> Maybe they do this to give you more, you know, more for your price. You know, you're getting all these clothes, you can style it the way you want. So if that's the idea behind it, they're doing beautiful uh, and they're doing good. Other than that, uh, this is another, uh, another really nice option uh, to consider when buying these dolls. Absolutely, and I think for the price, I think that they're really fun. Like, I love that they come, especially these ones that come with extra accessories and layered clothing like this, because I agree with my co-host, I wouldn't put all this together, but separately, some of these pieces will go good in my clothing collection. So, I'm happy to have them as well. Um, we're basically just going to give them uh, another alternative look. We're just going to try on one look. I know in my previous video that I did of the other Diva Lucy doll, I did like multiple looks. But just for time's sake, just because I don't want this video to run over too long, we're just going to do one additional look for each one. A skirt here. And I also changed the shoes to these pink and white sneakers. Gave her this star purse. But everything else... Oh, I changed the necklace as well. I changed it from the white necklace to this kind of a light pink. So that's her look as of right now. And then also too, this is my, uh, this is the first Diva Lucy doll that I purchased. And this is after the um, head swap um, and also hair restyle. I also just gave her this gold outfit. And if you all remember, this is the same look from the Barbie movie. Yes, this is option um, this is the look for her the number two look and then for this flower child here we just gave her this pink kind of a jumpsuit here and paired it with these pink flats and i gave her back her original purse i kept on her original bracelet and she has her original earrings and shades so I just wanted you all to see that these dolls can wear some Barbie clothes. I don't know if you see this little stain here on the elbow here, kind of off the subject, but I believe that came from the coat. So I have like a magic eraser sponge that works really well on plastic, stained plastic and stuff. So I'm gonna try that and see if that works. I'll come back later and update you all on that, but yep. Yeah. 
that's the only defect so far I've seen out of the girls after unboxing them. It was mostly on this one because she had like that very deep yellow jacket. So, but overall, um, I love these dolls. I think they're really cool. They're really fun. And like I said, for the price of them, you know, they was worth taking a look at and doing an unboxing for this channel. I'm gonna let my co-host tell you what he thinks of these dolls and the final looks. All right, so the host team said pretty much everything, but I just wanted to end it with um, the look-alike of the day. Uh, they tell me it, it's a complete coincidence, but I, I thought about it. Uh, they remind me of the Totally's eyes, just <laughs> uh, you know, Clover, Alex in the middle, and yeah. Sam at the side. They remind. I just kept thinking that their hairstyle and just all three of them. They remind me exactly of those three, the Totally spies. True. So <laughs> that's our look alike of the day, and I think all the looks look beautiful. Of course, we styled them. They for the price, I think it was well worth it. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask you really quickly, just because this is a, do, a new doll line and this is a overseas doll line, um, what do you think in comparison to the Barbie Extra, like the ones we have unboxed previously on this channel? So if you had to say one or the other or both even, what would you say to future customers who may be interested in purchasing these dolls or maybe even the Barbie Extra? Well, and like I said, it goes down to what you like, what you prefer, what you are looking for. Uh, if price is um, a big uh, factor, I will go with Diva Lucy. But um, if time and accessibility, because uh, you know we are in the USA, um, I would go with Barbie if you're not looking. So it really just depends on which one is the determining factor for you. You know, it doesn't take that long, does it? How long did it take to get these dolls? A week? A week and a half? No, it took about a week, a little less than a week. Um, yeah. I want to say when I order, now that's one thing I want to mention. Uh, now, when I ordered from Sheen, it took anywhere between five to seven days. Okay. Um, now, when I order from like Timu or AliExpress, it's going to take closer to like a week and a half, two weeks, you know, yeah, from AliExpress, my experience. AliExpress is always long. Yeah, that's from my experience. Now, I don't, I don't know if that's based on where you're located, because like I said, we're here in Texas, so maybe depending on where you are located, it may, the shipping may be faster for you. It may be slower, you know. Um, but I also know that the time of year makes a difference, you know, weather makes a difference and all sorts of things like that. But, um, we've come to the close of our video, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to this video. This was a fun unboxing. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to find a body for this doll that is so similar, uh oh, that is so similar to the articulated Diva Lucy dolls. Um, I think that these dolls are really fun. I think they're really cool. I am going to come back later and give you like an update of their styles and stuff. Like I wanted to do, you know, just have some fun, play around with them, take some artistic liberties, just like I did with this one. Because anyone who saw the original unboxing video, you all know that the hair was nothing like this. It was actually like an afro. It was very curly and bushy. And I gave her more of a style that I thought fit her better. So drop down in the comments. Tell me all what you think of these beautiful dolls. Tell me what you think of this doll line in particular. And if you have some that you may have purchased already, give me your thoughts. Drop down in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications for future videos. We thank you for being with us. <laughs> from the beginning till the end and I hope you come back and subscribe to the channel if this is a type of content you enjoy watching. If not, drop a like, a comment and that will help the channel as well and uh, we appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for watching us. Bye bye. Bye bye.